So what's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Perk Work and for this episode we have the perk improvement for a fan favorite perk and this would have to be Vulture Aid. Now as always I will be covering the improvements for Vulture Aid and what I believe should be added to this perk in order to make it better. So now before we begin this video, please be sure to drop me a like down below and we will get right into today's video. Now I'm sure that many of you adore Vulture Aid like myself and I'm not going to blame you either for that. But even though this perk lacks any flaws, there are some things that Vulture Aid actually needs for it to be the best perk it could be. And these features could potentially be added in Custom Zombies for Black Ops 3 later this year or even in World at War in the future. So first up, we all know about the abilities that come with Vulture Aid after purchasing this perk. These being the loot drops with money and ammo, as well as the ability to see all of the perks, mystery boxes and zombies in the map at the given time. But you may have also noticed that Vulture Aid actually doesn't show the location for drop power-ups that are available on the map, which is slightly annoying considering we can see everything else that is on the map. So for the first edition, Vulture Aid CO all mechanic needs to be buffed and adjusted to prove more effective in games of zombies. Adding the abilities to see all power-ups, zombies eye glow just a bit brighter and possibly even see build part locations would make using this perk beneficial and exceptionally better in game. For our next improvement to Voltrade, it would definitely be the ability to make power-ups possibly last longer on the map, much like Temporal Gift but not exactly for the doubled amount of time that the Gobble Gum has itself, but having this ability would allow the players to be only able to see the power up and also give them that short added 15 seconds to the power ups themselves making power up uses more effective and a small key feature to the perk as it is something that has not been seen in zombies up until DLC 2 for Black Ops 3 in Zetsubo no Shima. So adding this feature to Vulture Aid would be a great idea and will lead us into our final feature for Vulture Aid in this video. And finally, the last feature for Vulture Aid may seem a little far-fetched in your eyes, but I see it as a very unique and cool idea that I think nobody would have thought about for the Vulture Aid perk. And this idea would to be either replicate or replace a drop of a very powerful revolver called Dead Draw. Now this would be almost an exact reskin of the Annihilator, but in a revolver form with an unlimited ammo source for 30 seconds. And no, this drop would not coincide with the other ability I talked about in this video. This drop is unique to only Vulture Aid itself like these spiders with Widow's Wine. So when you pick up the Dead Draw power up, this revolver will prove unlimited amounts of damage and if hit a perfect headshot upon using one of these bullets, all zombies around the zombie being hit with a headshot will explode and this of course would be a very rare power up drop to come across using this perk to avoid overpowered users and so forth so dead draw would be the final addition to the vulture aid perk in this perk work episode and that guys is all for today's video of perk work if you have any of your ideas of your own for vulture aid then leave those down below if you enjoyed this video then make sure to leave a like as well if you enjoyed and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and for now I'll see you all next time.